Hi and welcome to the PIP Objects Room. PowerDirector 10 lists a good number under various headings. Today my focus will be on custom and 3D PIP objects and how to create them. I'm looking for a suitable 3D candidate amongst all these PIP objects. There's a lot to look through. OK, I found one I can make use of in a 3D scene. The jumbo jet looks just right. First things first, let's make the object different. Now I need to bring up Pip Designer, and there are two ways to do that. I use both. Select and then click the icon, or right-click in the object and select Modify Template. As soon as I give the jumbo a motion path, the checkbox for Enable 3D Depth becomes active. I'll amend the keyframe positions and the length of the motion path. The path is being taken beyond the frame area. The jumbo will then fly through and off screen. Bring the aircraft back to the beginning of the motion path. Adjusting the size of the object will give the appearance of coming from afar. Select Save As to retain a new 3D template. Type in a suitable name. I even remembered to position a thumbnail slider. <laughs> now that task is finished and a 3D icon is in the PIP objects room. Cool. Using an image editor, I created a transparent background ping or PNG file. Select the Create a New PIP Object from an Image button. I'm going to choose the ping file I've just created. The first thing I do is move from the Format tab to the Motion tab and select Enable 3D Depth. Return using the Format tab, then position the cursor to resize and to place the image in a new PIP object. Select Save As and name the new PIP object template. An image with a uniform coloured background can also be used as an object. Here we have an image with a close colour background. Using the chroma key, remove a large portion and the tolerance of intensity threshold is tweaked a little more. Notice how the level of intensity impinges elsewhere on the image. That may not be exactly what's needed. You will have to decide when to save and use. The lower tolerance is due to colour similarities. Select another if this happens to you, perhaps. Modifying an object and adding a shadow is not hard. Bring up Pip Designer and add the effect to the image, selecting a shadow placement and base colour. The shadow's appearance is alterable, mm, that's cool, and the object template can be saved. I now select the travel plane I recently created. Next I change to 3D in preview. I opted for anaglyph, have your glasses ready. Moving on to the media room, there are two files I'm going to use. Video, audio and an object three elements to create a small clip. Excellent. All I need to add is a vapour trails if I want. Thank you for watching my video. Now it's your turn to create a cool 3D pip object.